this uh, balanced development footwork drill is uh, capital L to capital L. In other words, from one L to the next L. <clears throat> and so uh, one L is like this and the other L is like that. So these are my feet. Here's an L and then here's the other L. Here's an L. Here's the other L. So um, if, for example, I'm walking to the east, my left foot is always going to be on the line east-west, the east-west line. And my right foot is always going to have its heel on that line, but it's always going to be pointing south in this case. Later, when I change it, I'll be going the other way. My right foot will always be on the east-west line, and my left foot, the open leg, the open foot, will be pointing south, but its heel will also always be on that painted east-west line. So that's the idea. <clears throat> So we've been doing this today with a cane or uh, a uh, walking stick or a railing or something like that. <clears throat> and the idea is when I place my foot, I have unlimited time to do the placing of the foot and the cane. So I place the cane, I place the foot, and nobody's hurrying us I need to adjust that whatever amount of time it takes for me to place that is fine. Once I've done that, then I want to commit my weight to the rear leg, the leg that has not just stepped. And that might mean take it off of the cane as best I can. And when I commit the weight, I'm just recommitting to my principles, posture, relaxation, alignment, all that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to further commit to, we were saying for us, 15 seconds just being in that leg. So no cane, essentially 100% on my rear leg. Maybe I got a little stability from that front leg touching. And then 10 seconds to shift my weight. So I time that. I give myself about 10 seconds to shift the weight. And when I shift the weight to the open leg, I can actually be shifting down. So I'm sinking slightly as I go, but I'm changing the commitment from rear leg to front leg. Once I get there, I want to be here, stay here in the front leg for 20 seconds. Maybe we can go 30, 25, but I'll just say 20 for now. And all I'm doing is I'm just being in this stance for 20 seconds. Then I'm going to do my next step, which will be here. Again, I have unlimited time to move the cane and the foot because we don't want to feel rushed in the placing. I want to get that as accurate as I can, whatever my flexibility needs are and so forth. <clears throat> so as much time as I need here. <clears throat> then I just recommit to that unstepping leg, the open leg in this case. And I'm going to give that 15 seconds. So I'm off the cane or largely off the cane or more off the cane. I'm largely on my rear leg, mostly on the rear leg. Maybe I have a little bit of de-wobbling in the front leg, a little activity. But essentially, I'm on this leg. And then 10 seconds to shift. <clears throat> so on this one, we're going to be shifting slightly upward. So from the open leg to the front leg is standing up just a little bit, but 10 seconds to have that shift. So breathing, shoulders relaxed, posture, all that kind of good Tai Chi stuff. Once I'm here, 20 seconds in the front leg. Now this side compared to this side, is all of these are probably going to feel easier. The commitment to one, the shift, the placing, the commitment to the other, are all probably going to feel a lot easier. So this half of the exercise might feel a little bit more restful than the hard part where we cross the legs. So let's say I've completed my 20 seconds, unlimited time to place the cane and the foot, whatever it, it's going to end up looking like.
okay? Then sort of try and commit to that unstepped leg. So in this case, it's my far leg from the camera, my left leg. <clears throat> commit to that off the cane as best I can. 15 seconds, 10 seconds to shift. When I shift to the open leg, I'm gonna be sinking a little bit. So I'll exaggerate for you. Once I'm there, 20 seconds in that leg. And then we do unlimited step, 15 seconds rear, 10 seconds shift. This would be a shift slightly up, 20 seconds at the four. So to turn, I can just parallelize my feet and perpendicularize the feet, and then I head off in this direction. Next level of this is once I've crossed here and I do my shifting, <clears throat> once I'm shifted to the front leg, I can additionally, so I shift, I spend my 20 seconds there, I can give myself 10 seconds to lower my unstepping knee towards my stepping calf or Achilles or heel. So I'm lowering this knee for 10 seconds. And when we do that, I'm used to the fixed camera, so I changed to help you, but you were already doing it. Once I do that and I'm lowering that knee, my other heel will come up further exaggerating the idea that my weight's really in that open leg, the stepping crossed leg. So unlimited placement, 15 seconds rear, 10 seconds shift, 20 seconds in place, 10 seconds with the knee dropping. Maybe now we can do another 20 seconds still on that front leg, but in that tougher position. And then unlimited step placement of the foot in the cane. Okay.